It's the summer of 2018, and the 18th edition wiring regulations have come into force from the 2nd of July. With this video, we're going to try and answer some of the main questions that we get asked about the qualification and the courses, so that you can make some decisions moving forward. Welcome. Here we are. It's a glorious summer day, uh, and we're here to talk about the new 18th edition wiring regulations. I've just got some questions to ask Dave Tindley this morning, uh, just so it, it can help people who may have similar questions sitting out there. Dave, welcome. Hi, Andy. Uh, I just wondered, when was the release date for the 17th edition? 2nd of July 2018. And are they in force immediately? Do we have to follow them immediately? If you've started jobs to the 17th edition earlier in 2017, you've got a six month grace period to complete those jobs, or if any jobs have been designed and signed off before January 2019, they can be completed to the 17th edition. I think the easiest way to think of it is, if you start a job after the 2nd of July, you should be working to the 18th edition. Come January 2019, I would suggest your yellow 17th edition can go in the bin, because moving forward, it's all about the 18th edition. Okay. So in saying that then, do you think it's pretty important to get the qualification and understanding? Absolutely, I'd say for two reasons. The first reason is qualifications are like a bulletproof vest. If ever anything went wrong and the health and safety executive got involved to see where it went wrong, one of the first things they ask is were you competent for the nature of the work undertaken? And if you can produce valid and current certificates to say that you're qualified in that field, then that's pretty much you in the clear. Um, that's one reason. It's always good to have currency in your qualifications to make sure that they're continuously current. Uh, the other reason is to make sure that people understand it's not about where you work. There are people who work in shipyards and people who work in, in plants where they make cars like Fords and Vauxhalls. And we hear all the time, I don't need to take this qualification because that's where I work. It's not about where you work. There are certain elements that you don't need to take the 18th edition if you worked on board a ship or on board an oil rig or in a mine or a quarry. But the best way to understand that is look at the voltages. If you work on anything from zero to a thousand volts, then you should really have the 18th edition qualification to do so. So, how long is it going to take me to get this qualification then? If you've got on a course, generally they're two to three days depending on the training provider. Um, there is an update course. I was going to ask, are you going to do it quicker than that? Or? You can, there's an update course. Uh, okay, this is what's different from last time. It's quite important to remember this. When the 17th edition came out, they did an update course with a 30 question multiple choice exam. And that exam was only based on the updates. So there were no questions on the general regs, just on the amendments that have been made. Just the new things. Just the new things. They're allowing an update course now at the City and Guilds, but it, it, com it, it culminates in a 60, the same exam, the 60 question multiple choice exam that's on the entire regs. So, okay, I'm not going to dispel from what electricians do on a daily basis, but I'm sure most of them aren't reading the regs every day. And if you're not really familiar with the regs and you go on a one day course, you need to be aware that one day course will only cover the amendments. And then when you do your 60 question multiple choice exam, it could be from anywhere yeah. in the regs. And that, that's a, that add on course, that quick course, it's only for certain people, isn't it? It's for people who've taken their 17th edition since Amendment 3. So in the last three years. Yeah, so they need to show evidence about it. They do need to show evidence before they can do the course. Now, I'm not going to say whether I'm pro or against what the City and Guilds have done. I would have understood it more had there been a 30 question update mm. exam, but that categorically does not exist. So if you just go on a one day course and need to underline, you're still doing the full exam. Yeah, yeah. But nothing else has changed in terms of, it's still an open book, you've still got the regs with you. Absolutely, you, you, you have, you have, you've yeah. still got the regs. There was talk at a seminar that I know you went to recently with the City and Guilds of whether you're allowed to bring in the on-site guide. And they said in the seminar it's not going to make a difference because all the answers are in the regs anyway. All the questions are geared around the regs. Geared, geared around yeah. the regs. So it's open book, 60 questions and I often say it comes out chronologically, if sequentially, it follows the, the order of the regs. The first few questions are on part one, the next are on part two, then and so on. So it's the same as it always was. So if, if people have got an inspection and testing qualification, will they need to, do they have to update the regs on the back of that because things are going to change? Okay, the only time you need to update your inspection and testing is when, if you're with a governing body and you, you've had your annual review and your field officer doesn't think that your competency is quite what it should be. You could say, but I've got my 2391 or I've got my 2394 and my 2395. It's not going to wash because if you've got something wrong during that field inspection, he'll quite often say, we need you to take your qualifications again. Now, barring that, there's no other need for you to take your inspection and testing quals again. Having said that, part six of the regs is inspection and testing. And that has changed quite dramatically from the 17th edition and every previous edition. Yeah. This 18th edition, part six, is still inspection and testing, 
but they've, they, they've more or less rewritten it. Yeah. It's the same information. The certification has changed as well, hasn't it? The certification's changed yeah. to meet the regs because of the changes that come on earlier. So if you want to stay current and valid, I'm not saying anyone would do this, if you've got a 2391 or a 9495, then you could probably argue that you're competent, and God forbid you ever ended up having to argue about that. But if you've got your 2391 after January 2019, then you're beyond approach. Yeah. You're definitely competent. Okay, thanks Dave. I think we're going to jump over to some quick fire questions now and I'll ask you them just in a second. Okay. Thanks. Hey everyone, this is the quick fire questions for the 18th edition. There's been no gelling up, everything's just off the hoof. So, Dave, how much is the book? £95. And where are we going to get it from? Any wholesalers directly off the IET or you can buy it from Amazon. Okay, what colour is it this time? It's blue. Can you tell me one reg change, one way in which the regs has changed? Uh, the whole of part six has changed, so every reg in part six. Okay, so coming back to the exam, how many questions are there? 60. Uh, what's the price of the course at TJT? £380. And for the part course? The update course, 195 Okay, is that good for everyone, that course? No, I'd say it's good for a very small amount of people with a, with a good knowledge of the regs. We know you do this for individuals, but you do it for companies as well. If I am a company, how do I get uh, my, my staff on the course? If you've got more than six staff, we can either come to you or you can bring them to us. The World Cup, Dave, who's going to win the World Cup? Well, the way Neymar has been playing and Coutinho, William, uh, Belgium. <laughs> you caught me on the back foot there. It's to, get to do with this squad. You watch. All right, listen, thanks, Dave. That's brilliant. All those quick five questions. If you need to know any more, just have a look at the, at the uh, website, the company website. Thanks very much. Cheerio. Cheers, Andy.